Welcome back, family. Today, while scrolling the internet, I came upon a story that says Steve Harvey's wife was cheating on him with his bodyguard. A real true life bodyguard story, the movie that starred Whitney Houston. Y'all remember it. And the woman who posted this did so as if she knew that this was 100% fact. She also has another story that claims Steve Harvey and his wife are separating, going their separate ways because Steve Harvey has a wandering eyes and that she's had enough. And this is why she began the affair with the bodyguard. Truth be told, I listened to the whole story. I listened to both this person's stories. I'm not going to give her any credibility here because I believe these stories were all clickbait. They're lies. Lies that she intentionally put out there. Basically, she was clout chasing to get views. I don't post stories unless I know them to be fact or or as accurate as possible. I don't need views and I don't need to spread misinformation out there. Now, if you saw the title about these stories of Steve Harvey and his wife, you would tend to click on it because this is breaking news and people do these things just for views. Cap, she has received hundreds of thousands of views based on lies. Me, I'm not willing to do that. Like I said, I'd rather stick to integrity and give you a story that I feel is factual or that I can prove in some way. But people are different. Now again, the story claims that Marjorie Harvey is having an affair with the bodyguard. Why would a woman like in her position do such a thing? I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe Steve is weak in bed. Who knows? I don't believe it to be true. But a woman like that with a checkered past like she has that came up big time on a superstar celebrity, got him to marry her despite all her shortcomings, would not risk losing him because of a fling that she wanna have with some guy. I don't believe it, I don't think it could be true. She's too calculating, she's too smart. Now, if you don't know, Marjorie Harvey was married to a drug dealer, had her first baby with him, he got sent up, hooked up with his cousin, had another baby with him. So a woman who's been through the trenches dealing with men that are of economic prosperity, if you want to use those words, illegal. Now she's dealing with a man that's legal and has all the money that she would ever fantasize of. Why would she jeopardize that relationship? I highly doubt it. She's not that stupid. And if she wanted to dip off, why would she decide to go as close as the man that is protecting her husband. It doesn't make sense. It's all cap, no facts. This woman who's posting this on YouTube has zero evidence or anything linking to anything that could be credible on her stories, on her episodes. But do I believe that it's possible that Steve Harvey can be cheating? Of course I do. Look at his history. One, he cheated on his first wife with his second wife. He cheated on his second wife with his third wife. Now, is it possible that he could just be keeping up the pattern. Old dog don't learn new tricks, a leopard don't change their spots. So, is it that he is doing the same thing that he has done and he has shown for all these years? Yes, it's possible. There's no evidence for it, but it's possible. Now look, a man and the woman that he's with is only by what is available to you by your status. If you are a regular man, you have access to regular women. Unless you're just extremely attractive, then you could bend the matrix a little bit and, and fool the system and do something outside of what's relegated for you. Now, looking at Steve Harvey, not saying he's an ugly man, but he's nowhere near what you would call a gorgeous man, okay? Uh, pause, I'ma say that again. If you elevate your status, the level of women that you have access to grows along with your wealth. So if you look at his first wife, um, he cheated on her with the second one, which was, I guess, a slight upgrade. And now as he rose to ultimate heights, success and fame with money to go with it, he went and got himself a baddie. Marjorie Harvey is just that no one can deny it. She's gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I think she's better looking than her daughter, Lori Harvey, which is the daughter of her husband's cousin. Anyway, 
The thing is, with his pattern of cheating on his wives and him having access and qualifying for the baddest thing out here because he has the bad. So as bad as Marjorie is, there's women out there that are put it to shame and he qualifies for them. Judging from his patterns, yeah, it's possible that he would dip off and deal with somebody slightly more gorgeous than her or way more gorgeous than her. Yeah, why not? He's so rich that he can afford to do whatever he wants. Would he risk his relationship just to have a little adventure on the side? Yeah, he's done it before, multiple times. So, like I said, I don't know if it's true. I'm just giving you my opinion of what could be possible. Now, as far as these allegations of cheating, which I don't believe to be true, on her parts at least, I'll show you a post of Steve's Instagram, which was posted on July 2nd, where he showed his wife playing the piano and singing a song. Was it evident that she was singing to him? But it doesn't matter. He posted it. So he, he co-signed it. I don't see any signs of troubles here, although you wouldn't be able to tell, but this is almost two months ago, so maybe troubles reared its ugly head between now and then, but he also went on to post on July 23rd. This post, where again, he's doling on his wife. This is about a month ago. Could troubles have come from a month till now? Yes, but all these stories about what's happening between Steve and his wife is nonsense. It's all cat, no facts. Now, I don't have any issues with this couple. I like them, I think they look good together. Uh, Steve Harvey is in a position where he can still continue to do better, but does he want to at this point? Anyway, that's good for them. They're still working it out and they're still in love and everything is peachy Dan. great. But like I said, I don't believe the story that they're getting divorced. I don't believe the story that he she's cheating with the bodyguard, nonsense. The only thing I would say is that Steve Harvey wrote a book a couple years back, Think like a man, act like a lady, a book directed at women on how to interact with men. Now, I do agree with a lot of points that he makes in his interviews. I didn't read the book, but in some of the Steve Harvey show clips that I've found or have seen throughout the years, I do agree somewhat with what he's saying. But the idea that this man is some sort of guru and he's authorized or qualified to write such a book directing women on how to interact with men is farce. In my opinion, Steve Harvey just doesn't qualify to be given advice. You're in your third marriage, guy, and you've messed up each one the same way you did the previous one. You're in a row. So let's listen to some of the clips. He does have some sound advice to give, but he's just not the guy to be doing so. Men are hunters. What we enjoy is the chase of the hunt. Now, after we capture you, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. But after day one, you're not captured. We still hunting for you. If you break down after day one and you're not in a serious relationship right now, I want you to start thinking about the pattern. If you break down too quick on the guy, what is it? What, what, what does he have? What does he have? See, I don't, you may not like what I'm about to tell you, but men are aesthetic. We're just aesthetic creatures. I love it when my wife gets jazzed up. I love it. Now, if I come home 15 nights in a row, which I do come home very late, and she's already in her favorite little gray sweat outfit, and that's all I'm seeing for 15 days. You know, I say something to my wife. I say, baby, we need to get up in the morning, have breakfast together, go somewhere, do something. But I, I tell her that, and she ain't got no problem. Okay, what you want to do? Because every now and then, I want to see who I ask to marry me. I don't want to come out here and bust my ass and I don't get to see this person no more. I don't, no, no, what the f happened to who I married? Now look, I'm only doing this Steve Harvey story just to refute the allegations that this other YouTuber made. They're so salacious and damaging, I felt that I had to do a debunking video because nothing that she had in the video was legit. It was just her talking. And we've all been victim of this. How many times have you been on the internet, perhaps YouTube, scrolling and you see a you see a, a thumbnail with with some luscious scandals that you you may want to get in front of click on it and you hear a bunch of yapping just talking about nothing that suggests or having anything to do with the title that's what this was and that's why i decided to do this video again steve harvey marjorie harvey i hope you guys union is as strong as you present it to be for the last couple years. 
No relationship that I know of is 100%, 100% of the time. It just doesn't happen. So maybe you guys might be going through something and somebody took wind of a slight turbulence that might be in the forefront for your household and they ran with it and this leaked out. I did Google it. I did do a, a search as to see if there's an actual divorce pending, if there's allegations of cheating on both ends. I saw something, but not from a credible source. So I paid it no mind, it's just gossip. So until we hear otherwise, this is nonsense. I believe Steve Harvey and Marjorie are as happy as they can be. So what do you guys think? Is there any credibility here with these stories? Is this a case of where there's smoke, there's fire? I don't think so at all. But you leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you for checking me out one more time and I'll catch you on the next one.